Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're looking at one of my species orchid, Valacia. This is the indigo variety. Early on in my orchid journey, I know I want to get an indigo orchid, whether it's a Violacea, whether it's Bellina, um, but Violacea was always a top choice in terms of, you know, if there is an indigo orchid, I want it to be Violacea because the way that the entire flower could look almost blue. We all know that there is no true blue in orchids, but, you know, indigo is really as blue as it gets, really. I waited for quite some time, quite a few years, because, to be honest with you, the kind of orchid that I like, and if I want to go for a mature, established plant, you kind of have to have a budget for it. And for me, I don't want to spend that much money on an orchid. I did that for my sweet memories, but that's about it. Um, so I waited, waited, waited until I know that um, my favorite um, orchid provider <laughs> has um, a good price on its Violacea indigo. So I place an order and boom, I have one. At first, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a mature plant. But a few months under my care, it started to put out a spike. So I was super, super happy. And because this is the first indigo in my collection. So I actually took a bunch of photo. The photos and video clips that you see is probably only about a quarter of, of all the photos and videos. So this is kind of a um, summary. Um, and also this video is going to be a comparison against a lot of my other Bellinas and Violacea. You'll see those side-by-side -side comparisons and video clips later in the video. In terms of care, because this orchid is a moss, no drainage hole method, and because this cup is quite small, it's eight ounce cup, but you can see the moss is not even halfway, maybe about, you know, just under halfway. So I only give this orchid one eighth of a cup each time. And it does receive 25% um, quarter strength fertilizer every week and then at the end of the month I do use just water pure water to soak this orchid so that's basically the care and um, so far it's been doing great and here is a quick comparison um, with my purple martin my sapphire and then here is the blueberry and then the equestris cerulea Later, you're going to see a little bit more comparison. Oh, and the, here you have the Bellina Alba. They're all super fragrant. And by the way, this Bellina also is a first bloomer in my collection. And in fact, for these two, they, they bloom for the first time and they give me multiple flowers this time around too. So that was quite a nice surprise. So for both of them, I do soak them at the end of the month. And when you soak them, after you're done soaking them, you do have to tilt their cup a little bit, let the water flow out. But what I do is I, I just let it drip until it, there's no more dripping to put them back and then revisit them. Go back to them in an, about an hour because of gravity, you're still going to see some excess water at the bottom. And if you don't want that excess water at the bottom, go back to it in, in an hour or so in an hour, two hours time, and, and get rid of that excess water. And here is a quick comparison of my Germain Vincent and Indigo. Germain Vincent is 50% Violacea, so that's why I put them side by side, just so you can kind of see how they compare in terms of color. You know, the Indigo is really blue, even though Germain Vincent also has Violacea in it, but you can tell when they are side by side, it's just more red, more more that has that more red undertone. And here, this is the Violacea cerulea and the Violacea indigo. This Violacea cerulea is also a first bloomer in my collection this time around. 
They both are really fragrant, but I tend to enjoy the smell, the fragrance of the indigo more because it's more on the sweet side. The cerulea one, somehow, it's just a little on the spicy side. But I love them both. They bloom for the first time, and I was just so happy to to be able to see them bloom, especially together. <laughs> The cerulea one is in ink organic media with drainage holes at the bottom. It's also in an eight ounce cup. It's relatively small, as you can see here, but it likes it that way, and you can tell it has gr has grown a lot of good roots inside the media. So I really, <laughs> I'm really pleased that this orchid did well since the repot, and now giving me a bloom for the first time. Well, back to the indigo. I have seen some indigo orchids sold for a lot of money. So, you know, if you really want an indigo, maybe start with a younger plant and, and try and see if you can um, <laughs> grow it so that you're not getting a mature plant and then eventually kill it. <laughs> okay, so two weeks later, the first flower dropped and it quickly gave me another bud. But this one, I could tell that it was, you know, the last bloom it was going to give me this time around because the size of it is smaller compared to the first um, flower. The color was still rather striking, but the form of it, it's just a little, it's not as flat and it's definitely smaller. So I could tell that this one, you know, it's, it's going to be its last flower. It's still a relatively young plant, so I do have high hopes for this one, provided if I, you know, I, don't, I don't kill it. And here is a bonus footage. For those of you who have seen other orchid videos recently, you probably have already seen this one. But this is a side-by-side -side comparison of my three Bellinas and then three Cerulea-type orchids. They all happen to be in bloom at the same time this time around, so I took a video clip of them side by side just to give you a sense of the festive um, scenery I have, but then also give you a perspective of how their colors compare against one another. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao.